Thanks for joining us for this XCA data sheet live edition on the DP548. It's quite a short one this time, so here comes the overview from Richard. The DP548 is our flagship processor, combining all the powerful speaker management features of the 4 series with a new level of dynamics control and matrix mixing. It does look like a DP448 with purple coloured menu buttons to me, so what makes it different and better? We've powered up the DSP platform, which allows us to add a whole host of extra features based on algorithms first seen in our SID Dynamics processor. You mean Series 2 and SID? That's them, yes. In particular, the C2 dual channel compressor and the D2 multiband dynamic EQ. The DP548 combines eight channels worth of C2 processing across the outputs and four channels of D2 processing across the inputs, as well as offering a full mix matrix input to output. So can you briefly run through how this is organised, Rich? Of course. Working from input to output, we have input gain control, a 28-band graphic EQ with selectable response style, eight bands of parametric EQ with a multitude of selectable response types including shelving, elliptical for creating very steep roll-off filters, phase and all pass. The classic EQ is then followed by three full spectrum bands of dynamic EQ for each input. Each of these can be set to work as either a parametric band, a shelving filter or be switched to full range for standard compression or expansion use. So is this just frequency conscious compression then? No, it's much more flexible than that. All four quadrants of operation can be chosen, that is cut above, cut below, boost above or boost below. Make sure you watch our videos showing the dynamic EQ in action. So what's next? We have the mixing matrix that allows any output to receive a mix of all four inputs. The traditional switching routing is also available as on the DP448. Remember that in matrix mode there are no input delays. Good point, that could get very messy. Similarly, as with the DP448, we then have the crossover filtering with slopes up to 48 dBs per octave and a further nine bands of fully flexible parametric EQ followed by the output delay. The output channel compressors are next with the soft knee control and the option to set time constants automatically based on the crossover filtering, just like the limiters. I'll let you take a breath there, Rich, and say that the compressors before the limiters allow you to approach the limiters much more gently and make their operation even more transparent if you set their threshold a few dB below the limiter threshold. That's right, Waring. The limiters are the classic XTA two-stage look-ahead design with a program or RMS limiter followed by a clip or peak limiter to catch any overshoot. That's a pretty comprehensive lineup of processing. So briefly, is there anything else we should know? It's worth knowing that all the four series presets can be ported to the DP548 and that the unit is supported by both audio core and iCore. Great. So we'll look at the applications of Dynamic EQ and show how it works in audio core in accompanying videos. Check out our live presets to go with the live data sheets and thanks for watching.